This is your college football edition of the Monty Moment. I'm Johnny Montepato, and this is the best college Saturday to date, perhaps all season. When you look at it, as you look at these games coming up on Saturday, it's the second time in college football history that we have three matchups of teams 5-0 and or better playing on the same day. And you look at all these matchups that are happening, we could pick eight games as we want, but we've got number 10 Penn State facing number five, Michigan. We've got number three, Alabama, on the road against sixth-ranked Tennessee. Number eight, Oklahoma State, on the road to face 13th-ranked TCU. Also, 15th-ranked NC State goes against undefeated number 18, Syracuse. Number 16, Mississippi State, takes on 22nd-ranked Kentucky. A Pac-12 matchup of big proportions. Number seven, USC, takes on 20th-ranked Utah. That could be a big one in the college football playoff standings. And maybe a sneaky game for Clemson going on the road to face Florida State. So look at all those matchups. It was hard to narrow them down to just three games, but I found a way to pick three to, to, to go at. And let's do this thing. And we need a winning week in the worst way because last week, 0-3 in my selections. Kind of unlucky, but 0-3 is 0-3. We are 6-12 through the first six weeks. And again, three picks this week. Tough to narrow the great slate of games to just three, but I think I found a way to do it. And let's start early, right at 12 noon Eastern, the big noon kickoff game at on Fox at the Big House. It's a big matchup in the Big Ten as 10th-ranked Penn State goes to the Big House to face the number five-ranked Michigan Wolverines. And the Wolverines are seven-point favorites in this game. And the matchup to watch, Wolverines running back Blake Corum, who is second nationally with 11 rushing touchdowns on the year, third among all running backs with 735 total yards against this Nittany Lions premier run defense. But, however, Penn State hasn't had to stop anything like what Michigan is offering on the ground. And I think their inability to close down the primary running lanes will be the key to a Michigan win. Now, the concern on the Michigan side in making this pick is that the Michigan offense has cooled down a bit since their insane start to the year. But at the big house, with their own defense too, they'll get a big win and they'll cover. So give me Michigan laying the seven in game number one. Now, the 3.30 Eastern time window has three, gate, three great games with ranked opponents. And unfortunately... As much as I want to pick the Bama-Tennessee game, three versus six, I just I can't do it because right now we don't know the status regarding quarterback Bryce Young, and I think he makes a major difference for Bama. I think they win regardless, but do they cover the seven points that they're favored by right now? I'm not sure because we don't know, again, about their quarterback situation, if it's going to be Young or it's going to be Mil uh, Milrow that goes back in there. and. Let's be honest, if you watch Bama's games this year, you know, they've had a lot of, they've been very undisciplined. They've made actually quite a bit of mistakes. They almost blew it against A&M at home last week, and we know how they barely was able to get past Texas. And yes, they're undefeated, but, you know, in college football, the way you win games does mean something. It does matter to the committee, and that's why Bama fell to three in the AP poll this past week. And you have Georgia up on top. And you have Ohio State who's on who's off this week. So this is a big, big test for Alabama. And in fact, they're scheduled these next couple of weeks very, very challenging. I mean, they got a favorable start. But now, you know, you start getting the likes of Tennessee on the road who has some new life after a dominant win last week. So it's, it's again, it's been, part, it's been far from perfect there in Tuscaloosa, Tuscaloosa. I think this is a golden chance if you look at this game. I mean, I'll just give a, a preview of this one. I'm not going to make an official pick. If I was to make a pick, I would take Alabama, but boy, I would be scared stiff in doing that. But you look at the, the Tennessee side here for just a second. I think this is a golden shot for them to really make their name known for real here. They've got Bama Saturday, and then they take on number one Georgia in the first Saturday, November. So don't count out the volunteers all of a sudden. It's amazing the turnaround that this program has made, but don't count them out all of a sudden that they get – one of these two wins, I mean, especially if they win this game against Bama on Saturday, you know, they're going to really shake things up. But, again, kind of going to get away from that game. Maybe call me a scaredy cat if you want. Look, I'm 6-12. and 12. I'm not scared. But I just am not comfortable because right now we don't know the quarterback situation. If Bryce Young is there, I think they win. I think they would cover. But Bama has not covered a lot of their games 
in the early in the early going this season. So, uh, and I'm not sure. I don't know Milrow if he does play. I mean, he, you know, he can't. He has shown some ability to throw, and it's really going to be more of a ground kind of game there for Bama. But we will see. That should be an epic one there at 3:30 on Saturday. But the 3:30 game that I am going to make a pick on is going to be a big, tw- a possible Big 12 championship game preview. As number eight Oklahoma State, the Cowboys take on 13th ranked TCU, and really this is not only a possible preview of a conference championship, but a consequential game in the college football playoff picture. And does this not seem familiar? This 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 situation here regarding the Cowboys. They're the higher ranked team, and they're getting points. They're getting three and a half in this one. And this happened against Baylor a couple of weeks ago. I picked against the Cowboys then, but I'm not going to this time. They have been challenged a lot in this season, but they've won every game by double digits. I think this one actually will be in the single digits, but maybe even coming down to a game-ending field goal. But the Cowboys, who have been playing clean football, they've been tackling well. They've gotten great play out of their redshirt senior quarterback, Spencer Sanders. Uh, Spencer Sanders, I think they get it done here. Give me Oklahoma State plus three and a half in game number two. Game number three, 8 p.m. Eastern on the West Coast in what could be a, the best shot for a Pac-12 team to be represented in the college football playoff. It's seventh-ranked USC going to take on the 20th-ranked Utah Utes. And this is really Utah's last stand in the Pac-12, and it's against a Trojans team who has yet to lose a game with a brand new coaching staff and offensive system, and one of the best quarterbacks in the country, Oklahoma transfer Caleb Williams. He continues to light up defenses, as and a guy you'll be you'll be hearing about in the Heisman uh, Trophy discussion this season. He has been playing lights out, and I mentioned it here before about how the, how great the Utes defense is, and it laid a dud against US, UCLA. Last week, and UCLA, USC plays a very similar style to the Bruins. So, to me, the wrong team is being favored here. I'm going with USC getting three and a half in game number three. So, three games with big conference and college football playoff implications. I'm taking one home favorite, two road dogs. I'm taking the Wolverines laying seven at home against Penn State. The Oklahoma State Cowboys getting three and a half against TCU. And the USC Trojans getting three and a half on the road against Utah. For more, like us on Facebook and Twitter at GameOnETV. And you can follow me on Twitter at NY. This has been a Monty Moment College Football Picks Edition. I'm Johnny Montabano.